Hello, welcome back to the channel. This isn't the video I thought I was gonna be making. In fact, I'd love to be making the other one, but I, I, I can't because I, I, I got a broken bolt. So instead, what we're gonna do is uh, go over about how we're gonna fix those new traction boards onto the, onto the roof rack and hopefully take the car out for a drive because it's unbelievably cold and I need some heat. Stay tuned, we're gonna have some fun on this one. The first things first, gold was our color that uh, everyone chose on the uh, last video. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna put the skid plate on, it's gonna look awesome. And uh, then we're gonna get onto these. So, so there's a little receptacle in the, uh, the roof rack. What we're gonna do is slide a piece of aluminum in there and create a mount for the traction boards to go to and then have a quick release system I'll figure out a lock as well but uh, yeah that way they'll be on the car when I need them guaranteed I will need them okay that looks pretty awesome especially with the red hardware up here um, I know it's gonna get scratched I know it's gonna be a mess before I know it but I'm enjoying it now okay so here's the plan we're gonna take these which go into the roof rack Thread some ready rod through it, drill a hole in this so it sits over top, clamps down over top like this, and use a couple wing nuts, bam, it's on there and then we'll get uh, a cable lock and lock them to the rack. So easy peasy, let's get at it. So what I'm first doing is marking in from the edge just to get the centers of where the holes are going to be to hold the ready rods. And then what I'll do is drill these holes out and then use that as my template to actually do um, a transfer onto the tops. That way it'll both be symmetrical. Next, we just need to mark the matching holes for the hole down bar. So now we got the holes marked here and here, and they're equidistant from the ends. Then uh, all we gotta do is drill these out and make sure the ready rod can go through them. Okay, so we got all the pieces made now. All we gotta do is cut the ray rod, and I went upstairs, sorry, in the garage, marked where it needs to be. So I'm gonna cut four pieces of that, thread them into the lower section, and we're gonna be good to go. As you can see, we got them on, so we're gonna use a nut to uh, press down on the top here with a washer, and that's just gonna lock everything into place, so we'll torque that. That way someone just can't spin these off. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the back ones, we actually had to put a little bit of angle on them just to um, kind of cope with the, the curvature of the roof. It's not perfectly flat like it is on the 4Runner. But yeah, so uh, next we're gonna put the boards down on top of these and then uh, put the locking bars on and uh, we should be done. There we go. 
one more. That's how she locks down. Good and secure. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this week's episode. We got those traction boards on. They are really nice and secure. I'm feeling great about this. Um, it, it was a bit of a faff getting a few things done. Didn't realize the curvature of the roof, but that's okay. Next week, the boys and I are going to go out and have a little bit of fun on the lake. At least that's the plan. So to get there, all we got to do is put the wheels back on, finish buttoning up the uh, bumper again, and we're going to go have some fun. So until then, remember to like. I really need the subscription, so please do that and comment. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks again. Have a great week.